Hey guys, welcome back to Financial Life Hacks, the channel that helps you reach your financial goals organically through lifestyle tips and tricks. In today's video, I will be explaining the five components of how your credit rating is calculated. If you haven't watched my previous video that explains what credit rating is and how to get free monthly credit reports with Borwell, click here on the top left side of the video to watch it. I have also left the link to Borrow in the description section below and I advise all Canadians to sign up for it so you can monitor your credit reports. The credit score calculation is actually broken down into five parts. Payment history actually makes up 35% of the credit calculation and is the most significant part of the whole thing. And this is categorized simply by how well you handled your debt payments over the years. If you have any late payments or allow any of your accounts to go into delinquency, your payment history will be influenced negatively. Therefore, paying your bills on time is generally one of the most important and simplest ways to increase your credit rating over time. Credit utilization is simply a ratio of your outstanding credit card balances to your credit card limit. For example, if your credit card balance is $900 and your credit limit is $1,000, then your credit utilization is 90%. The lower your credit utilization, the better it is for your credit score. This shows lenders that you're only required to use a small portion of the credit that has been approved for you. Lenders like to see this because it illustrates to them that you are a responsible borrower with excellent self-control. Customers who consistently have a low credit utilization are much less likely to default on their loans, lowering the lender's overall risk on their investment. On the other hand, customers who consistently utilize 90% of their credit limit on multiple credit cards are much less likely to pay their bills on time. Credit utilization accounts for 30% of your credit rating and is therefore just as important to consider as your payment history. I will be providing some easy to implement tips and tricks on improving your credit utilization and overall credit rating on next week's video. So be sure to be subscribed and hit that bell notification so that you don't miss that. Credit history, also known as credit age or time in file. It's basically how long your account has been reported open. Any accounts that's in good standing and has been reported open for a long period of time generally has positive impacts on your credit rating. The average age of all your credit products combined makes up your credit history. This is important to lenders because a long track record without any issues is usually an indicator of similar behavior in the future. On the flip side, if you're the type of person who applies for many credit cards and closes them a year later, and there will be negative effects on your rating. Credit history makes up around 15% of your credit score. Credit mix refers to the different types of accounts that makes up your credit report. Common example of such accounts include credit cards, student loans, car loans, line of credit, and mortgages. Credit mix accounts for 10% of your credit rating and having a more diverse mix of accounts will have a positive impact on your rating. Aggressively applying for a lot of credit products in a short time frame may not be the best strategy in some cases. This is because this strategy, more often than not, has negative implications for the other four components of your credit rating. The last components are credit inquiries. There are two types of credit inquiries soft and hard inquiries. Hard inquiries occurs when a financial institution decides to pull your credit to check if you qualify for any of their credit products. The most common type of hard inquiry is when you apply for mortgages, credit cards, and any sort of loans. Your permission is usually required before one is done. Soft credit, on the other hand, typically occurs when someone checks your credit as part of a background check. Your permission may not be required and examples include pre-approved credit card offers, checking your credit, and employment verification. Hard inquiries negatively affect your credit rating slightly, while soft inquiries don't affect your rating at all. 
This is why I don't recommend aggressively applying for a lot of credit products in a short period of time. Because for each one you do, there is a slight negative effect on your credit rating. But don't let this discourage you from applying for credit products that you actually need. Because using credit products properly will improve your credit score substantially in the long run. These videos take an incredibly long time to make as a new YouTuber. So if you found any of this information useful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. As mentioned earlier, in next week's video, I will be revealing to you guys some easy to implement credit hacks that will improve all six of the credit rating components discussed today. It will be posted right here once it's uploaded. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the next Financial Life Hacks.